video is going to be about one of my favorite softwares of all time, which is called Card. I absolutely love Card for making landing pages because it is so simple. Uh, anybody can do it. You don't require any coding. And also it is so cheap compared to other website builders. It's only $19 for an entire year's subscription to the pro plan. And with the pro plan, you get access to a bunch of templates. You can publish your website. You can get a custom domain. You can do a lot of other stuff with the pro plan. And it, the pro plan is so cheap, only $19 a year compared to like $19 per month for other website builders. So yeah, I love card. And this video is going to be about how to use card, how to connect card to MailChimp, how to connect card to uh, Google Analytics, how to connect card to uh, Google Ads. And finally, just how to make a card website. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to take about 10, 15 minutes uh, showing you guys how to do it, uh, but it's pretty easy. So what you're seeing right now is the dashboard, uh, which shows you the kind of landing pages that we've already created on this account on card. Uh, you can see that I've created about four landing pages before on card. I've created more, but I've deleted them in the past. Um, and yeah, so if I want to make a new landing page, all I do is I go to the top right corner, I click on new site. And what that will take me to is a bunch of templates. Uh, you can see here that there are literally more than like a hundred templates over here for a variety of different use cases. Um, I would say that the most important thing to do first is going to be deciding uh, which kind of use case you want um, and then picking the correct la uh, template for that use case. So for example, uh, let's say you're making a personal website. So maybe you want to use this template for making your personal website because you can see that it has like your photo right there. It has a bunch of social links. Uh, so maybe you want to use something like this or something like this for your personal website. Uh, instead, if you're doing a e-commerce application, um, then maybe you want to use this uh, template over here that you can see. Uh, if instead you want to create a landing page for a product that's about to launch, uh, maybe you want to create this kind of, you use these templates, which have a countdown timer. So you can say that like, Hey, my product is launching on in five days or what's whatever. And you can connect these landing pages to your social media or to maybe a Google ad or something like that. And that way you can build a wait list. Um, there are a bunch of templates that you should probably, um, uh, explore and see, um, what these different templates are. Uh, you can use these different templates for many different things. Um, yeah. So I'm going to choose one of these templates and I'm going to create a very quick landing page. I'm going to show you how to do it. So, um, this, I really like the colors on this landing page. So I'm going to pick this one for now. So the way that card works is that basically, um, there is what is called a container. So you can see I'm hovering around the container and this entire page is one container. So everything that's here is one container. And then within that container, the, there are smaller blocks. So this text is one block. All these social links are one block. This image gallery is one block. Uh, this is a very simple website with just very basic text and very basic images. Um, and now if I want to edit a block. So first, if I want to add something new to the container, all I have to do is click on add an element and I can pick what kind of um, element I want to add to the container. Uh, so for example, if I feel like this web particular template right now that I'm using is missing a call to action, it's missing a button. So I'm going to add a button. All I do is I click on button. It came up at the bottom. So I just pull it up. I'll put it right here. Um, and there, there I have a button. I can edit it. I can say that I want the button to say, uh, click on me, click me to learn more. I can choose the URL where I want that button to go. Um, I can choose, uh, the colors so I can say, I, this, this color is not matching the rest of the theme. So I want to make it white. So I've chosen white. Um, yeah. And I can choose the text color as well. Um, it's pretty easy. So over here, I go to the label color and I make it black so that you can actually see what the text is saying. Uh, now this is matching the theme a little bit more. Um, I can choose the width of the button. I can make it like, um, much bigger. I can round the corners. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do is explore what the different options are. Um, and you can, uh, place the buttons in different places. You can change the colors. You can do a lot of things. Like for example, you can change the button to all uppercase. That's pretty, um, that's pretty important and it's pretty useful. Uh, you can also change the font font. Uh, you can do a lot of things. Okay. Uh, one of the very important uh, features of card is, uh, the mobile. 
So you can choose. So what basically mobile means is the mobile responsiveness of your website. So for every single block, you can choose whether you want that block to be auto mobile responsive. So card will choose the best way to do it, or you can do it manually as well. Uh, so that you choose how you want it to appear on mobile. Um, so you have this kind of fine tuning that you can do. And in fact, if you click on this button over here, switch to mobile view, it will show you how it looks on mobile. So if you choose auto and then you see like, oh, it looks a certain way on mobile and I don't like it, then you can just switch to manual and you can change how that particular block uh, will look uh, on mobile as well. Okay. So this is about this specific block. I showed you how to add uh, a button. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to edit an element that's already been put inside your template. So let's say I want to edit this. I want to edit this uh, text that's over here. Okay. So it says, hi, I'm whatever, blah, 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 blah. So I can just change it to, hi, I'm Sahil, I'm Sahil Khandwala. Um, I like to make content about business um, and how to use uh, software to digitize my business. So you can see over here that the Sahil Khandwala is in a different color. Uh, the reason for that is that you can see that below this text, it says that suppose the following markdown like formatting. So basically you just use these different uh, formatting options to change the way your text looks. So right now it has these two uh, double equal signs. So that basically means highlight. So it's going to highlight that text in a different color. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was pretty easy. Uh, what I can also do is if uh, I go to these icons and uh, I can put my link, my social proof in these different icons. Uh, maybe I want to use this landing page to collect email addresses. How do I do that? Very simple. Um, I just click on add element. I go to form and then I add this, this form is added over here. Uh, this has, uh, it will collect right now the name, email and the message that you're trying to get from that person. Uh, you can change the formatting like you can see here, but the more important thing about this form is going to be about uh, how you can connect it to your MailChimp. Uh, that's going to be what's uh, really important. You can see over here, you can change uh, what kind of stuff um, um, is there in that form. Uh, but how do you connect this form uh, to MailChimp? That's what's super important. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you now. So just hang, hang on a second. So right, I changed the form to a sign up form. Uh, so earlier, the way the form was set up was basically that it would be a contact form that if somebody uh, wanted to contact me, they would just put a message, they put their name, their email, their message, it would send me an email. So I would add a recipient email. So I would put my email address over here and um, yeah, they would, they would be able to send me an email, but instead I changed it to a sign up form. So now it is collecting people's names and email addresses. Um, and it is automatically going into my MailChimp. Um, so I can choose to connect this with MailChimp, with review, with ConvertKit, with a bunch of other um, email automation tools, um, whichever one that I'm currently using. Uh, so connecting it with MailChimp is damn easy. Um, all you have to do is you have to put your API key and your audience ID. I'm not going to show my API key and my um, audience ID because that uh, is kind of private and then anybody can start adding stuff into my uh, API key, but you just have to click on this link over here um, and you can click on this link over here and it'll show you exactly how to add your own API key, your own audience ID to this. Okay. Uh, so that was quite easy to do. Uh, now let's say instead of um, capturing people's, by the way, create, deleting our element is super easy. You just click on that element and you click on this delete button over here, delete it's done. Um, now let's say instead of just collecting people's email addresses, instead, I want them to buy something from me. So I click on add an element, I go to widget and over here in widget, I have a bunch of options uh, for what I want them to do. So for example, if you have Stripe, so Stripe is basically the American version of Razorpay, uh, where people can pay uh, for your services. Um, you can do a direct integration with Stripe over here. 
uh, with Gumroad, which is mostly for digital products. Uh, you can do, you can have a Facebook like button. I don't know who would want to do that. You can have a PayPal button or you can have a type form button. Um, so this is one way of integrating uh, e-commerce into your card website. Another way of doing that would be by having a button, like the same kind of button that I had earlier and uh, directing that button to uh, a payment page that I've already set up. Uh, so that's another way of doing e-commerce on your card website. Uh, so yeah, I've shown you basically how to use card. Um, now let's say that there's this image gallery and I can just add all my images. I just click on it and I upload the image. It's very simple. Uh, for example, if I want to convince people to buy my product, um, another way of doing that is would be by adding a video. So all I do is um, I'll click on add video and over here I can upload a video directly here or I can embed a video. So that means I can take a video from YouTube, from Vimeo, from Twitch, from a um, variety of sources and I can just embed the video where I can convince the person who's wat watching that like, hey, maybe I should buy this person's uh, product or um, I can embed a bunch of other stuff like we spoke about timers earlier. You can embed timer, you can embed an audio, you can embed links, icons, tables, a bunch of stuff. Uh, one feature of this that uh, is not there in this template. So I'm going to exit this template. Um, actually, before I exit the template, I'm just going to show you guys how to uh, publish this template. So publishing this template is super easy. Uh, you just click on this button over here, publish the site and it will publish the template. Um, you need to obviously put the title of the website. You need to put a description and you can, this is going to be important is you can choose to publish either to a card.co URL, uh, which you choose. You can, I can call it Sahil, um, Sahil.card.co, uh, which is not available. Obviously Sahil is a pretty popular name. Um, or I can also choose to publish to this to a custom domain. Uh, publishing this to a custom domain is slightly more involved, uh, but if you want to um, if you want to do a Google ad, you have to publish to a, to a custom domain. I have tried in the past to uh, do Google ads with my card uh, website address and it didn't work. So you have to publish to a custom domain if you want to do Google ads. How do you do this? You just click on this link over here. And once you click on it, it will show you how to do step by step. Very easy. Um, and let's say you use GoDaddy, it has a bunch of options of different um, domain name registers. Uh, so most people tend to have GoDaddy websites. I use GoDaddy. So you can click on GoDaddy and it'll show you how to do it on GoDaddy, um, how to publish to a custom domain. A couple of other important things over here are going to be uh, the shared image. Basically, uh, what that means is that if somebody shares your landing page on social media, what is the image that will show up? Um, you know, that banner thing that shows up when somebody shares on social media. Uh, also very important is over here, Google Analytics ID. So basically what this does is it will connect this landing page to your Google Analytics for your website. I'm assuming that you already have Google Analytics set up uh, to find your Google Analytics ID. Um, again, I'm not going to be able to show this because then people can use my Google Analytics ID for other stuff. Uh, but in, in order to find it, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to the admin panel in the bottom left corner. It will look like a, a gear. So click on that admin panel in the bottom left corner. Um, that will open up a bunch of options. So then you have to click on property settings. Um, then under property settings, you will find tracking ID. Uh, click on that and then you will find a tracking ID that goes like UA dash something, 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 something. So uh, you just have to copy that tracking ID. You just have to paste it here. And then once you uh, paste that tracking ID here and you publish your website, Google Analytics will automatically start tracking um, this the, the, the people who are coming to your website. Um, another important thing are the meta tags. This is basically for SEO. Um, so you can tell Google like, hey, this website is about this stuff. Um, so yeah, that, that becomes important if you want to use it for SEO. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how you publish your website. Um, now I'm going to show you a feature that is not there on this template. So I'm going to exit this template. Uh, just before I leave, I just want to say that it's very important to put a good title and a good description because that's going to help with SEO as well. It's also going to help with if anybody's sharing it on social media, 
then your title and your description will show up. So you need to make it very enticing for somebody to click on that link if they see it on social media, or you need to make it enticing for people to share on social media as well. Um, as much as landing pages are used for Google ads and Facebook ads, um, but you can get a lot more bang for your buck if people are sharing it on social media. Okay, I'm just going to go back. I'm going to exit this template and I'm going to show you guys another template uh, which has um, a feature that I want to show. So over here, um, so it has all these e-commerce features, it has a gallery, all of that stuff. Uh, it's basically trying to convince you to buy this product. But over here, you can see that there is this divider um, and it's called hashtag done. And it has this page below that. So basically how this is being used is that if somebody clicks on this button, uh, buy for 199, uh, once they're successful, so you can see over here on completion, uh, they want, you can either display a message. Thank you. We'll get back to you. Or you can redirect them to a URL. That URL can be a different website or it can be within this website itself. So when I preview this website, um, this part below will not be seen unless, unless I complete this action and then this part will then be seen. Um, it's a very useful tool to basically, um, take people through different parts of your website. So, um, or using card, you can use this feature to create a multi-page, uh, website. So for example, the details. So if I, I, I can write over here, I can put a button over here saying, um, sorry yeah there <laughs> uh click for more details and the url would be uh hashtag details then what i would do is i would create a new um it's called a control um i would call that new control um so yes yeah, so a section break and i would call that control um call it details right details and under that I would put a bunch of extra details. So I'll add a bunch of elements under that. So I can add a text element. Um, here you will find more details. So basically if you don't want your website to be too cluttered, or if you want to make a multi-page landing page, then this is one way that you can do that. Um, generally you want your landing page to be a single page. Um, and you only want a second page once the user has completed an action, therefore it's generally not required. Uh, the biggest use case for this is once somebody has completed an action, you want to show them a thank you page, or you want to uh, make them take one more action after that. So for example, they buy your product or they sign up to your waiting list and then you want them to follow you on Twitter. So that's one way of doing it. But in case, uh, like in this example, if you want to show them more details about your product, then you can do that. Okay. So I've shown you guys how to connect to MailChimp. I've shown you guys how to connect to Google Analytics. The last thing I promised to talk about was how to connect this to your Google Ads, uh, Google Ad. Now, the way to do that is when you are creating a Google Ad, uh, you will go through many different sections. So uh, the Google Ad will take you through an automatic workflow. And the first part of the workflow will be where they ask you what kind of ad you want to create. Do you want to create a sales ad? Do you want to create a lead ad? You can, whatever, right? So you click on that. Then they will ask you, do you want to create a banner ad? Do you want to create a search ad? All of that stuff. Okay. You choose that. Then they'll ask you a few more questions and eventually you'll get to a point where you're choosing your keywords. Okay. So you in input your keyword. Then the next part is where you actually start creating your ads, uh, where you start putting your headlines, where you start putting your URLs and all that stuff. And that is when you connect your landing page to your Google ad. Basically what you have to do you have to take the custom domain that you made when you published. Remember when you click publish, you have the option of doing it as a public domain, uh, sorry, as a custom domain. So you basically have to take that custom domain that you made and, um, you have to connect that and you have to put that in what is called the final URL. So what the final URL is, is when somebody clicks on your ad, where are they going to go? So you take this custom domain, you put that as your final URL. And that's it. That's how you connect a uh, card to your Google ads. Um, and yeah, that's it. And that's the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. 
Um, I think that was quite thorough. It's been like 20 minutes. So I'm going to end this now.